6's Jerry Askin is live in Orlando, where city commissioners just gave the green light on the new database. But Jerry, police today told you they've already been testing this. Uh, Julie, yes, and their testing period was actually in June and July, and I'm told they were able to actually, during that testing period, recover several stolen cars. And today, the city council voted yes a couple of hours ago on giving police access to this widespread database. And residents today had their reservations, though police say it's a good thing. It's a huge investigative tool for us, um, and it, it obviously is much more efficient. And that's why the Orlando Police Department will soon be able to gain access to an already existing massive database of tag numbers used nationwide aimed at better tracking criminals after a city council vote today. Versus an officer having to come upon that tag and run it, this does it automatically. The goal is to work with a company called Vigilant Solutions who will send OPD alerts when cameras set up by private companies detect a tag associated with a criminal case or someone missing. Police say they'll only be notified when a tag is linked to a crime or a missing persons case. They say it's not designed to invade the privacy of innocent people. Right now, it's not known where these cameras are or what private companies OPD is working with, but police say they're all for it. You know, we only have so many officers and so many sets of eyes. Um, this, this enhances that and it gives more data to us in a more efficient manner. Residents and drivers today we talked to had mixed feelings. I guess yes and no. I'm a little bit against Big Brother just tracking you knowing my every move where I am. Yeah, back live here in downtown Orlando, this database, we're told, cost about $49,000 and will come from OPD's budget. And coming up here all new on News 6 at 530, we'll tell you how other Central Florida agencies are actually uh, seeing su success from these license plate readers. That's all new at 530. But for now, we're live in downtown Orlando. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6. Jerry, thank you.